Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to put Kodi on your iOS device. If you go to the link below, you'll end up on this page. For Play Glass, hit the green button, wait for the install to pop up, hit install. Once you've hit install, you can go back to your home screen, you'll see it's installing. Now there is a link below, but if you go to the App Store, you can just click the link. You find SYBU for Kodi, which is a Kodi remote. Once you've downloaded that, I'll open that straight away. And you'll see a little information bar on the top right. Yours might automatically take you to the page, but if not, hit the information bar. Once here, go down to port. Mine says 80. Yours might already say 8080. 80, 8080. If it doesn't, change it so it says 8080. If it already says it, leave it as it is and hit done. Then we'll close this app down and we will see that Play Glass is now installed. Obviously, it's untrusted because it's from a third party. So we go over to settings. And in settings we go, oh, I'm already in it. Where are we? Right, hit general. And then in general, you want to scroll down and look for profile and device managers. There it is. Find which one it is, click on it, hit to trust it, then hit trust again. Then we should be able to close out of this and we'll be able to open Playglass. Once Playglass is open, you'll realize that it's just Kodi, but it's in Chinese. Now there's three buttons, hit the far right one, then the very top left one, then the second one down, and then at the top you'll see it says Chinese, click that and change to English. Now in the bottom left it says settings level, change that to expert, once changed to expert you want to press the little X, come out, go down to system, and then you'll see just there where it says stereo 3D mode, you can see it now, change that and disable it. And that's how we get out of that. Then just keep hitting the eggs, come back out. Then you want to go to services, web server, and tick the little blue dot in the top right corner. This just allows the remote access. Then you can come back out. And in the bottom left, just make sure you hit advanced. It just gives you more options so you can get to the programs and so on. Then go to file manager, then add source. Now this is where you need the remote. Um, linking it can be a bit of a problem. So open the remote. It won't let you click add source until the remote activates. There you go, hit OK on the remote. And then just, well, I hit a couple of times. Sometimes you'll get a noise, sometimes you won't. Go back, right, you see it's not worked. In this case, I will go back to the remote and I'll just try again. No, nope, now it's not recognizing the remote at all, which is fine, this is normal, it happens. So I'll give it a second. No, nope, right, okay, what we'll do is we'll back out, we'll close everything down so you close the remote down and close play glass down completely then what we'll do is we'll reopen play glass it keeps it in english but it does change it back to 3d so again system over to 3d scopic and just disable it then you want to go back out again and go to file manager which is under system hit add source again which won't do anything which is why you need the remote open the remote again then it's registered press ok Go back into Play Glass, and there we go. That's what we wanted. <coughs> Do excuse my voice, by the way. I had a very bad cough recently. Right, so in here you want to type in http colon forward slash forward slash erieswizard.co.uk. I will put that on the screen for you for a little bit longer in a second if you'd like to pause it, but it is also down in the description. Um, once that's in there, just go to the bottom, tap on there, type in Aries. We can type in anything you want in there and then you can click done. So if you'd like to pause it here. Right, now you go back in, we press the remote again and I press home. Now I had to tap home a few times to get this to work, but it might work first time for you. You press home, come back in and there you go, we're home. Bottom left again, where it says standard, hit to change to advanced, then click on system, then go to add-ons, just click okay. Then install from zip file, click Aries or whatever you called it, and then click the script that's available, providing you typed everything in correctly. And in the bottom right, you should see that it's enabled. Then back out and go to programs, Aries wizard. Now let it just do its magic for a second. And then once this is done, Aries wizard should pop up on its own. This is real time, so it should put, there you go. Right at the top, browse add-ons, then video add-ons. Um, and then I'll select Exodus just because I know this works 
Um, I mean, once you're this far, you've pretty much done it anyway. You can put whatever add-on you want to put in. Um, it's entirely up to you. I, th I don't think all of them are working at the moment, but if you know about Cody, then you'll probably know which ones are and which ones aren't. Now, when this completes, it does give me an error about a module. Um, however, that's normal, don't worry, there it is. So just click OK on that, and then you can see that it says it was successfully installed. So click OK. Then what I like to do, personal preference, but if you go back, go to System, up to Appearance, then in Skin, click Settings, then at the bottom, Add-on Shortcuts, Add-on 1, and just click the one that you, whichever add-on you've put on, which is Exodus in this case. Then when you go back to Videos, you can see it there at the bottom. So I'll click on it, Movies, uh, in theatres, let it load and you'll see that everything's working fine and it's loading up and there we go so please don't forget to drop me a like hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this if you'd like to learn how to put Cody on maybe movie box, cinema box, all that kind of things cheers